Hello everyone. In this video, let us try to understand a very important concept of your Angular JS that is directives. And we will see few directives which are mostly used. Now, what is a directive? It is a special kind of attribute for HTML elements. As we have seen two directives till now. One is ng-app, another is ng-init ng is nothing but your angular js app we say that it is an angular js app and ng hyphen in it we say that we are going to initialize something for this ng app so in simple term it is a attribute of html element a special kind of attribute which has a special meaning and that meaning is defined inside that angular js file that we have referred now the mostly used directives are ng app we have seen ng bind it is similar to your expression ng init we have already seen that ng show ng hide we'll see if ng show value is set to true it will show that particular element in which we are using this attribute if ng hide is set to true then it will hide that element ng true value ng false value this is uh, for your check boxes if it is checked then the true value should be so and so if it is unchecked then the false value should be so and so ng options this is uh, specially for your uh, drop down list or list box for that kind of controls we use ng options ng repeat it is very important and interesting something that we want to do repeatedly so it works in the form of for each loop or similar to your for each loop. I have a list of items. I want to display them as unordered list. Then I can simply use ng repeat and repeat the elements with all the items. So it works in the sense of for each loop. So we will see that ng click. It is a attribute or you can say a directive for button click event. You can use it for ng model now what is model uh, we will see that ng if is again uh, based upon some condition i want to show or hide something ng controller is again important thing ng view is again important thing so you can see model view controller ng model ng controller ng view ng model is again uh, similar to your ng bind but the changes to the bind property or the value will not reflect in the view whereas the changes to ng model value will reflect in the view no don't get confused we will see all these uh, directives uh, one after the other in this demo if you want more attributes if you are very much hungry about attribute at this position just go to this url you will get the list of all the attributes from your angular js portal now let us see a demo for directives so these are the directives that we need to understand ng app we have already seen now let me move ng app to html element and even this initialization part i can move it to body i want to initialize initialize at body level now let me execute first of all see whether it is working up to the mark yes it is working fine now let us try to understand ng bind ng bind is similar to your expression just what i can do here i can use a span tag and here i can say ng hyphen bind equals to a now it will bind the value of a to this span tag so the value of a is 10 and it has binded here to the span tag so it is similar to your expression ng bind is similar to expression but we use it to bind it in span tag next ng in it we have already seen ng show now say to this diff tag i say ng hyphen show equals to false now it should hide the first diff tag so it has it got hidden if it is true now it will show that value 
so if you want to hide or show any element you can either use ng show or ng hide now the important thing is ng model here i'll use an input tag now here i will say ng hyphen model equals to x now it means what whatever i write in the text box that value will be stored in this x and it is treated as model or you can say data so whatever i write in the text box it will be stored in x what i can do i can simply go for expression x and display that value hello so whatever i make changes to the model it gets reflected in the view i can go for expression or i can also go for a span tag and use ng bind ng bind x so this is your two way binding so i can achieve two way binding with the help of model so in two way binding what we have seen changes in the model will reflect in the view or we are making changes in the view so once we go for controller concept these things will be more clear so as of now you can understand this is two way binding and you can achieve it with the help of ng model